Hey, it's Steve. In this video, we're going to look at an animation I made of Jupiter based on data I took on July 8th, 2021. So on July 8th, I took a series of video images of Jupiter that night and then basically created a series of 14 individual frames based on that video data to produce the animation you just saw. So the setup that I use is my Celestron 8-inch Edge HD. This is on the Evolution mount. You can see here what that setup looks like. I also have a Teleview 60 I use as a super finder. And I have an ASI 290 camera on the Teleview 60. However, I didn't use that for this animation. Um, I only use the ASI 385, which is the main color camera that I have on this telescope right now. I do like to use this Bader flip mirror with my setup because this allows me to have an eyepiece on the top end and the camera on the back side. And then I can just flip the mirror back and forth so I can get the object centered in the telescope in the eyepiece, flip the mirror, and then I have it on the camera. And that does make it a little bit easier to get everything set up when you are trying to image something with a camera that doesn't have a huge field of view or a telescope that has a narrow field of view to begin with. Uh, I am using a Teleview 2.5x PowerMate, so I am running this at around f25. So the way I did this was to take a series of videos. Each one of these videos was taken several minutes apart, and then I did that for the course of about 15 minutes to produce the 14 individual frames. So each of these videos was 90 seconds long, and you can see a sample of the raw video on the top left. And then because the thing was very good this night, I actually stacked between 70 and 80% of the frames depending on which video I used. And you can see an example here on the top right of what the stacked frames look like coming out of Auto Stacker. That basically removes most of your noise you have in your individual frames and does start to bring out more detail. And then I would take the image from Auto Stacker, import that into Registax, and then use Wavelet Sharpening to create the image you see in number three. And I would also do some other tweaks in there such as the RGB balance. And then once I finished the sharpening in Registax, I exported that image from there and then imported it into Topaz Denoise, which is really good for removing any remaining noise you have in your image. And then that's what you see in number four. And then I did that for all 14 sets of video data that I had that night and produced 14 individual frames and then had the frames only last one tenth of a second here in the video to produce this animation that you see here. I will have a video out soon showing from start to finish how I do all my editing and processing of planetary data. So if you are looking at a better video on how to process and capture images of Jupiter that look like this with your setup, I will have that video coming out soon. It'll run through how I take everything with my telescope, how I actually process the data in PIP, AutoStacker, Registax, and Topaz Denoise to create these individual images and that will hopefully give you a better idea of how to do this if you are looking at trying your hand at planetary imaging. And so anyway, do look for that video coming out soon, but that's all for this video, and thanks for watching. Bye.